Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy these videos, I've got Shamir here with me from Fluidity Money. Shamir, thank you so much for joining me on the channel. Thanks for having us. It's really, really exciting. Really, really, really exciting, you know, to, to have you guys uh, um, on board on the channel um, to talk about Fluidity Money and everything that has been going on. Because I've read this white paper and wow. Like what you guys are up to, the vision, you know, like the mission that you're on as well, um, backed by, you know, Solana, Polygon. It's um, really, really amazing what, you, what you've done. But tell me a little bit, you know, how did this all come about, right? What, what problem are you, are you looking to solve? That's actually a very fascinating story, Ivan. Um, we, my background is in game design. So when I was younger, when I was 12, 13 years old, I used to make games. Um, and some of these games got really popular relatively. They got millions of downloads. And so I, I realized that there is actually a method to this madness where, you know, there is some sort of the theoretical stuff happening in the background that makes things go viral. So I couldn't pinpoint it back then what exactly it was, but I was, was fascinated by it until I came across this email client called Superhuman. And, and it's an email client, but everybody is going crazy for it. And I was listening to a podcast with one of the founders or with the founder, and he actually describes his background as being a game designer. And he talked all about the fact that there's these things that game designers use to make games go viral. And you can apply that to practically any sort of piece of, you know, process or software. And yeah. so he did his email client. And then I realized, whoa, okay, we can actually now do this to practically anything. Um, and one thing that I realized was that DeFi was lacking a lot of gamification or processes that make it fun and interesting. A lot of people did, you know, back in 2017, 18, say, okay, DeFi could be that use case that brings a billion users or everybody retail onto crypto. But turns out, you know, it might more be NFTs or games. And, and I think it goes back to the theory that games have this special element in them. And so I was always fascinated with like, you know, merging the world of DeFi and games into one. And that's kind of where like a lot of the fluidity inspiration comes is that we've gamified how people think about spending money. And that's, I mean, for me personally, you know, like the first time that I, that, that I came across um, fluidity and um, I looked at it and I'm like, well, we're all going to be using this. Like, why, why wouldn't I use it? If I'm going to be doing the exact same things that I'm already doing in the space, but I can also earn rewards and, you know, be in, in these, um, you know, in these competitions, you know, like to, to win, like, why, why wouldn't I? So it's really, really fascinating the, um, the gamification aspect of it. Right. Um, and tell me, you know, like the roadmap so far, like, you know, how long have you been, you know, in the making? So it's been a couple of months now, I would say almost, you know, hitting that one ear mark for us. Yeah. Um, and, and it all started with a lot of theoretical ideas because, you know, we didn't even know if this was possible. They, you know, so I guess for people that don't have context, what Fluidity does is that every time you use cryptocurrencies, you can earn yield using them. And it seems like a weird paradoxical situation where, you know, right now the only way to earn yield is depositing money and then locking it up or staking it. But with Fluidity, we said, okay, why, why not give people access to yield for using their cryptocurrencies or using money in general? And so, you know, if you think about it, okay, this allows for bots to come in, you know, people can spam transactions and abuse a system like this. Um, and so we really had to come back to first principles and really figure out, okay, how can we create a system that protects against attackers? How do we create a robust system that doesn't turn into like a Ponzi scheme? Um, and it really come and it and it's really elegant what we be, what we've created in terms of you know how I think about it. Um, and then eventually, as time progressed, we realized that, whoa, this could actually be a very interesting way of onboarding more users into DeFi or crypto, yes. but also giving people access in retail to potentially life changing amount of money for, you know, not for their existing behavior. And, and I think that's really the, the goal here is reducing friction in accessing um, crypto products. 
Yeah, and and look, like I said, it's um it's one of those uh, like when I first like you know came across and I started to you know really understand it, um you know like I mentioned you know like I do highly encourage anybody that's on here right now to to listen and to really take that white paper and you know digest it and understand it because you know there is a lot of um a lot of great detail in there, more detail than than most white papers that you often see. You know, some some white papers just put a lot, a whole bunch of fluff in there, you know, like to make them bigger. But you've gone into quite a lot of in depth to give people an understanding that this is serious, like this is robust. And this is not going, yeah, like like you mentioned, uh, you you mentioned the word, um, you know, like it's not a Ponzi scheme. Um, it's really, really important nowadays, you know, like with everything that's been going on and, you know, all the, you know, your Terra Lunas and, and everything that's happening in the space, right? I mean, at the moment, it is still the Wild Wild West crypto, right? I mean, it's not, um, we've got a long way to go still, you know, for mass adoption, but um, like I said, uh, to me, to me, I'm, I'm very, very um, impressed. And, you know, like if, uh, you know, companies like Solana and Polygon, you know, are coming across and, you know, uh, backing you guys with, with the vision. So when we are, you know, talking about fluidity money, you know, like what, what sort of, what's the roadmap at the moment? You know, like what are some of the key milestones that are going to be coming up? Right. So when we really start thinking about this product, we realize that the first best product market fit for something like this is targeting the current crypto users. They'll be more inclined to use it using something like this and understanding the intricacies behind it and being more comfortable with using. So the idea is to start off with you know different decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, um, Saber, Serum based order book exchanges and really just add it to the current trading experience you know uh, people trade almost hundreds of millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrencies every single day the idea is that if you're going to make those trades why not earn yield as a process of making those trades and you pay nothing extra and i think that's a really easy fit um, for a system like that and a lot of times you know people ask us about like okay why would someone be inclined to use it? And I think it really comes down to the fact is opportunity cost. You're not really giving up any opportunity in exchange for trading our asset. Um, you know, of course, given enough liquidity and you're not paying so much in spreads, you know, it makes a lot of sense that if I have, let's say Ethereum and I want USDC, when I hold or trade against the fluid USDC variant, um, I it's fully collateralized, you know, with USDC. And every time I make that trade, I earn yield potentially for doing so. Um, and as we progress, you know, the idea is to target NFT marketplaces. NFT trades are probably the most uh, highest volume right now in crypto. Yes. Every time you buy or sell an NFT, the idea is why not earn money potentially and you pay nothing extra, right? Um, and that's like a user experience story that we've stuck to is that using a fluid asset, you have no extra costs, no in terms of trading or platform fees, but not yes. not even not even gas fees. So we've written the contracts in a way where on Ethereum, um, you're not paying any extra gas fees either. So it's a really uh, you know reduced friction experience. Um, but eventually, the idea is retail. Um, the idea is that people that are going and making payments, they're they're buying and selling things uh, every day. They're the ones that are getting exposure to something like this. And, and I think just like the way Step In has been able to really uh, get exposure in the retail sector, I think this could do the very same thing in the sense it's a more, it's a, like a gamified process. And, and, you know, the idea is that we're not forcing people to do anything extra. We're like, you're going to spend, why not earn yield by spending? Um, and I think that's kind of like our, our strategy is that once we prove it in the crypto space, then we go retail and go retail hard. Um, to try to get as many like average users exposed to some using something like this. Yeah, look, I, I don't see why not. You know, like why not? I mean, it makes it makes complete it makes complete sense because the the key thing for me is that I'm not changing what I'm doing. That that's the big that's the big part. And even if uh, and you know, like let's say for example, if you if I'm not changing what I'm doing, but then there's a fee involved, and then maybe people are like okay, well there's a fee involved to do it with this guy. So then I'm not going to do it, but there's no fees involved either. So I'm not right. changing what I'm doing. I'm not incurring fees. 
so then why not that 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 that's the million dollar question right it's for for a lot of people that are you know that are watching this right now and so Myself personally, I, I look at, you know, the, the, from a branding perspective, from how the, you know, your team, um, you know, and I've been very fortunate to, to have met some of your yeah. team members because um, they're in Adelaide, which is a rarity, um, you know, in, in, in this channel's uh, existence, you know, like to, to be involved with, a, um, uh, to be able to interview, um, you know, a co-founder of a company and to have some of its, its team members in Adelaide, it just doesn't happen. So it's, um, it's exciting. It's really, really exciting. And you can hear, and you can see it in their eyes and you can hear it in their voice. Um, how excited they are about uh, you know working for for this project and tell me from um you know like keeping the whole team together and you know like really working together on this mission right um what are some of the i guess you know like tips that you would give out there you know for people that are you know obviously your team is everywhere so how do you keep them all you know on the same vision that's a good question. Um, I think, you know, as we get small successes, small wins, we celebrate them internally quite, you know, um, quite closely. And we, we have really good communication. Um, my co-founder, Alex, he's been very, you know, prudent about ensuring that communication channels between everybody in the team from the developers to business developers is very clear and transparent and i think that you know we get small wins meaning when we build something or we get a partnership or we yes. you know get positive feedback from an investor it's all celebrated and i think it works towards that vision that hey this could be something that you know people would want to use and one day might be you know a global product um it can be hard obviously running a remote team but you know i think just most of us are very young. Um, I myself am in my last semester of uni, and that's practically the same for most of our team. But you know, they're extremely, extremely talented, and uh, and you know, being young, you know, you're really passionate about things, uh, especially in your youth. Yeah, no, of course, of course, of course. Um, I agree. I agree. I think uh, you know, like you, you do have that vibrant energy in your team, and and I certainly feel it. You know, when I um, when I when I speak to them, and like I said, I mean, for me personally, you know, like I, I would like to have you guys on the channel more as as we as we go forward into you know, like say now we're in the middle of 2022, as we move into you know in, you know your Julys and August and Septembers, because I'm really really fascinated about what you have created genuinely. You know, like I, I think that it, it's exactly exactly what was needed and 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 it solves it solves a problem like you know it gamifies things it gives a reason to for me to do it which does not cost me anything to do so for me it's like i gotta know more about this project you know like i gotta stay close to um you know to what you're up to and already like you know some of your social media numbers are fantastic you know like the amount of um followers that you guys already have on on twitter and you know it's and and it's so early you know, it's so yeah. early. Um, it's it's really really exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's, the the growth it has been pretty crazy. Um, you know, we've had almost thirty to fifty thousand people try our our test net. It's still How many? live. Thirty to fifty thousand people uh, have tried it out. Wow. It's actually crazy. Um, and and then, and that's been great because we've been able to re really stress test the, these algorithms and formulas that we've come up with. And ensure that hey, you know, people aren't you know able to abuse the systems that we've created, and so it's it's actually been really great how many people have you know tried it and stress tested it out. Um, one thing that's really interesting is um, we really tried to make it very gamified. So the idea with using fluidity is that you know every time you do a transaction, you can win from anywhere from a couple of cents to even up to a million dollars, or really depending on a few of the variables. Um, such as liquidity and how many people are using fluid assets. Um, and that's where I think is the, is, the, is the really fun part. It's not the fact that you're, you're going to get, oh, you might get 1% on your thing. It's like you could potentially change your life and you're not paying anything extra. Yes. Um, and I think that's the whole cool part with retail really coming in is that, yes. you know, here, here in Australia, everybody's crazy about the lotto. But, you know, imagine every single time you bought something, you to potentially winning it without paying anything extra you know yeah, and I think it's, it's crazy that, and and for myself personally like as a marketer i think to myself you know what is that going to do 
for your social media channels and, and your interaction within the crypto community when people are out there sharing, of course, on social media, hey, you know, like I used it, I used the fluidity and look what's happened, you know, like I won, like you know, it's real. Um, it's it's going to it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what we've created is really cool. And I think given the right, you know, um right traction we can it can go crazy i think the similar way that step in just went viral so quickly yes. this has the ability to do the same thing but i i feel like you know we're we're targeting a much broader space and doing a bit more sustainability uh, sustainably um you know we're not we're, we're not offering guaranteed incomes we're just saying this is a way to supplement your income so it's like a new idea of like you know uh doing something to earn it's like, you know, living your life and making payments to earn. Um, and, and yeah, and, and there will be winners in this, but the, cool, the coolest part is there won't be losers. And I think that's like the, the most interesting thing that we've done with, with this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was actually, you know, I was actually thinking about that um, as you were speaking about the winners, but there's no losers. You know, you, you spoke yeah, about the lotto. Right. You spoke about the lotto and like, you know, there's like a one in 4 million chance of winning. That means that 4 million Australians have lost that particular day and only one person has won. But with this, you know, you, you have, like you said, like if there's no losers and they, but there will be winners. Yeah. If you try to attack our system, meaning spamming transactions, you will lose money, but that's a way to we prevent bots. And, and it's just, a really cool way that the algorithm works so if you're a genuine person and you were going to buy things and you were going to do it anyways you're benefiting from a system like this and yes. and and if you're an attacker you will lose money um, um in the sense that you'll, you're going to be paying gas fees and other platform fees that we don't charge but you pay to use a blockchain system um and and those fees you know obviously if you're spamming you're wasting that those fees anyways so it's the idea is to let genuine people genuine crypto users and eventually genuine retail users benefit from a system like this and prevent um attackers so it's a great way to balance you know um large whales and attackers and really give power back to like the average user yes which is what we've wanted from the start of blockchain right. power right you know, power, power to power to the people. Look, it's been an absolute pleasure to, uh, to, to have you on the channel to, to discuss, you know, what will be the first of, I believe, many, many times that we will, we will speak on, on this channel. I, I would say I wish you all the best, but I don't think you need it. I think it's absolutely um, brilliant, brilliant what, what, you, what you've done and what your team continues, uh, continues to do. And I, I really, really look forward to, to having you back on, on the channel real soon. Yeah, no, we really appreciate, you know, you hearing us out. And, and I think your audience will find this really particularly interesting. It is something different that we're trying to solve here. Definitely, definitely. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. And I look forward to see you on the next one.